In a beautiful forest, there lived a poor widow and her two daughters, Snow White and Rose Red. They were very happy, and the two girls were in several... <laughs> hurry, Snow White! <laughs> Rose Red, why are you always in such a big hurry? <laughs> Mother, we're going now to pick mm. strawberries. That sounds wonderful, dear. We're going to pick the most strawberries ever. Unless, of course, Rose Red goes off to play with the animals like she always does, and then we won't get very many strawberries at all. I do not <laughs> always play with the animals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she always says that. <laughs> Have a good time, girls. Bye. Bye. Mother loved her two daughters very much. They were like the white and red roses that grew in the garden in front of their cottage, perfectly suited to grow up happily side by side. Come here, I won't hurt you. <laughs> oh, Snow White, you don't have to pick so many strawberries. We have more than enough. Come and help me catch butterflies. It's ever so much fun. That's all right, Rose Red. You go ahead. They spent many days gathering berries and playing in the forest. Snow White and Rose Red loved to frolic in the warmth of the summer sun. But they also loved the special magic of the glittering winter snows. And though the young prince was tired, he raised his arm, and in his hand was the golden sparrow that had come to his rescue. He looked up at the sparrow and said, I shall never forget you. And with that, he fell into a deep sleep. The end. That story gets better and better each time. And now I think it's well past your bedtime, you two. Oh, just read us one more story. I don't want to have to go to bed now, Mother. Really, I don't. We must sleep. Oh, we'll be too tired to do our chores tomorrow. Oh. Snow White, will you please lock the door? Yes, of course, Mother. <laughs> now put your knitting away, dear. All right. <gasps> hmm? Who'd go out visiting in this storm? <gasps> it's probably a traveler who's lost his way, and when he saw our fire, he stopped to warm himself. Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm scared. You don't have to be frightened, dear. That's right. You don't have to be scared. I'll open the door and see who it is. I'm very cold. Ah! My goodness! <laughs> I'm sorry if I scared you. I didn't mean to. I only wish to come in and warm myself by your fire a while. It's very cold in the forest tonight. Why, of course you can come in and warm yourself. Are you sure? Of course, it's no trouble at all. I won't be here very long. Ah, uh, oh, thank you. It's so nice to be in such a warm place. Oh, you don't have to hide from him. Now, girls, come out and say hello to the friendly bear. He's not going to bite you, you know. Oh. <laughs> now, girls, it isn't nice to laugh. Come and help me get all of this cold snow off of him. All right. There's so much of it, no wonder he's cold. Yes, there is. Oh, that tickles. <laughs> Gosh, it'll take us forever to get all the snow off this way. I know how to make it all come off. I hope so. This snow is very cold. Here. Ouch! Please, that hurts. What? Oh. Wait, come back here. Rose Red, wait. Oh, stop. Mm. Mm, you'll hurt him huh? if you hit him like that. But... I'm trying to get the snow off him, that's all. Yes, I know, but I think if it melts off, that would be better. Oh, ah, thank you, Snow White. I'm so glad you came to my rescue. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was only trying to help. Psst, wake up. Hmm? What are you doing? Shh. I thought you'd better have some warm milk. Go on, it'll help you to get your strength back. Oh. You're very kind. Hurry and drink it up. It'll get cold if you wait too long, you know. Go on. <laughs> there, that's a good bear. Drink it all up. Mm, you have such a beautiful soft coat. <sighs> the bear stayed all winter long and became a very good friend indeed. They would play in the snow every day, and when it was too cold to go outside, they would still have a great deal of fun. Go higher, go higher! Hmm? Sometimes they would just sit by the window, sharing their warmth and happiness. 
Then springtime came and the snow began to melt. It was time for the bear to return to his own world. You don't have to leave. We want you to stay. This is your home. I must go now. There are many things I must see to now that springtime has come. Thank you for your kindness. One day I hope I'll be able to repay you. But you are the one who is so kind. Oh, please, Bear, don't leave us. Stay here with us forever. There are things that must be done. I dare not neglect them. I must guard all of my treasures from the evil, thievish gnome. Then Rose Red and I will go with you and help you to guard your treasures. No, no, I am afraid that isn't possible, for this is something that I must do by myself. There's a mean little gnome. During the winter, he cast an evil spell on me, and now I must find him, for only he can remove it. Do you understand? A spell, you say? I will try to do everything in my power to come back to you and Red Rose one day, for you are truly my best friends. <gasps> oh, wait, don't go, you're hurt. I'm sorry, I can't explain anymore. I must go now. Oh. Goodbye, Snow White. Goodbye, my friend. Springtime had returned to the forest, and with it came all the beautiful flowers. Mother sent the girls out to pick some of the prettiest blossoms for the kitchen table. The bear said he would come back one day. There isn't any reason to be sad. Yes, you're right. Oh, no. ah. hmm? oh. somebody needs our help, right? Oh. oh, my goodness. My goodness, what a funny-looking little man you are. What's the matter, little man? Don't just stand there like a gaggle of geese. Come over here and help me. Can't you see my beard is caught under this tree? Unless you'd prefer to merely stare at a gnome in need of help. If you were truly kind to creatures of the forest, you'd be happy to oblige. What can we do? We'd be happy to help if we knew how. I don't know what to do. If I did, I wouldn't be in this predicament. I know what. We can try to move the tree out of the way. All right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, hurry up. I don't have all day to waste while you two simpletons doodle about, you know. We are trying very hard, but this tree is too heavy and doesn't seem to want to move. We've got to find someone to help us. Why, you weak-minded, silly, milk-faced girls, don't you know anything at all? To do things right, you've got to use your brain. Well, if you're so smart, then you tell us what to do. I have an idea. <laughs> we can cut him free with my scissors. Wait! <laughs> That'll show him who's smart. There you go. Now you're free. My beard, you've ruined it. It'll never grow back. What am I supposed to do now? Just look what you've done. You should be grateful that your old beard isn't stuck in that tree anymore. I should be grateful when two barbarian barbers come along and hack off my pride and joy? We tried to help. Forget it, Snow White. Some creatures in the forest just don't deserve to be helped. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> come on. Who cares about his old beard? <clears throat> don't pay him any attention. It'll only make things worse. <clears throat> Now I'll have to move my treasure. Now that those two Snoopy girls have seen me here, they might come back and find it. I don't believe so, dear. It sounds to me like one of the gnomes who lives in the forest. You both know that you should always be kind to anyone you meet, no matter what. We were. We helped him when his beard got caught in the fallen tree. Suddenly, Snow White remembered that when the bear had departed in the spring, he had said that an evil gnome from the forest had cast a spell upon him. She wondered if the little gnome they had seen might be able to help her find her friend. Hmm. There's no place that's safe. I just know someone's watching. It's getting so a gnome can't trust anyone in this old forest. <laughs> I work so hard to steal my treasure, and then what happens? I can't find a suitable place to hide it. Huh? I'm going to catch a great big fish today. That's what you always say. Oh, my. It's those silly girls again. Can't let them see this. I'll find a way to confuse them. <laughs> like this. Oh, my goodness. It's that little gnome again. Oh, my. It is him. Oh, be quiet. Can't you see that I'm fishing here? All your chattering scares the fish away. What? Go 
away. This is our fishing place. You go away. I was fishing here first. This is my place. I'm terribly sorry to disturb you, Mr. Gnome, but have you seen my friend? He's a bear, a rather large bear with a fine brown coat. What? A bear? No, now go away. He also has beautiful brown eyes. Are you deaf? I don't know of any old bears. I just told you that. Now leave me alone. Well... Never mind him. He's just a mean old gnome with no friends in the whole wide world. I've no interest in your opinions. Both of you go away and leave me alone. <gasps> Come on. We'll save you. <clears throat> Get me out of here. Hurry up. Uh, I'll have to cut his beard again. <laughs> Not my beard again. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. There. <laughs> Goodness, that fish almost got you. Are you all right, Mr. No? Yes. <laughs> I quite enjoy. What have they done to you? I am sorry. I didn't want to cut it. If she hadn't, you might very well have been gobbled up by that fish. Twice now you two have come seeking me in the forest just to cut off my beard. At this rate, I'll be lucky to have any beard left at all. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you silly, brainless fools have caused me grief enough for a lifetime. You're lucky I don't throw both of you in the water. That does it. <gasps> Come on, Snow White. We don't have to stay here and listen to this mean old gnome anymore. But, uh, let's go. There are better places to go fishing anyway. But I wanted to ask him more about our friend. What's the use? Blah, 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 blah. That'll show you who's king of the forest. <laughs> Oh, 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 all my jewels, my beautiful jewels. <laughs> Thank goodness you're safe. <laughs> I know Mother said to be nice to the forest folk, but that gnome made me so angry. Imagine him splashing us with water when we were only trying to help. The little gnome was very mean indeed, and Snow White remembered that the bear had said it had been a mean gnome who had cast a spell upon him. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, <gasps> my... Look how his coat shines. Isn't he beautiful? What are you doing out here all by yourself? What a brave-looking horse. Did your master take you out for a ride today? He must have. Look at his nice saddle. I wonder if his master is all right. It is strange that his master isn't here with him. Take the fishing poles home and I'll stay here and look for him. All right, then I'll come right back. <laughs> huh? Wait, wait for me. Where are you going? Don't go away. We have to look for your master. Wait, I can't keep up. Rose Red pleaded, but the horse was determined to get back to his master. Wait. Oh. Oh, dear. As Rose Red approached, the young man did not stir. He had fallen from his horse and had hit his head upon the hard ground. Hoping to rouse the young man, she gave him some water. I hope this water will help him wake up. Mm. Mm. Oh. Uh, where'd you come from? Your horse brought me here. Where are you from? Uh, my brother disappeared while he was hunting in these woods during the winter, and I've been searching for him ever since. Uh, my leg. <gasps> Don't try to uh. walk if your leg is hurting you. Here. Suddenly, the young prince realized how kind she was and how beautiful. What is your name, young lady? My name is Rose Red. I live near here. <gasps> you are very kind and beautiful, Rose Red. <laughs> There's no need to be shy. Rose Red! Here! Over here! All right, I see you. <sighs> Hello. You'd be welcome to come back to our house and rest. A person should always rest when he is injured so that he can recover more quickly. I'll be all right. My brother is lost and I must find him. You two haven't seen him, have you? I know he must be around here somewhere. He was hunting in these woods when he disappeared. We haven't seen anyone, have we? Sorry. Sorry. I was afraid of that. I have to be going now. Rose Red, I'll never forget your kindness. Oh, I'm just glad that you're all right. Yeah. I'll return someday, I promise you. I'll be waiting. Goodbye. 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 Good luck. Be careful. I hope that you find your brother. <laughs> Help! Go away and leave me alone. <laughs> no! It was my 
doing? I tell you, make him a go. Make him a go. Oh, someone help us. <laughs> That's Rose Red. Don't worry, I'm coming. I'll save you. Oh. Rose Red, hold on. I'm coming. Oh, thank goodness he's returned. Hurry, please help us. Mr. Gnome? That's for me to know and you to find out. They're part of the bear's treasure, aren't they? And you're the mean gnome, aren't you? You come back uh, here. No. <laughs> you won't escape. I command your surrender. All right, I surrender. You win. <laughs> I'm so mm. very happy that you've come back. Stand back. He's dangerous. Oh, why is he doing that? He must be shooting at us because he thinks the bear's going to hurt us. Oh, please stop. Don't shoot at him. He's our friend. He came to help us. Please stop. Don't shoot. Watch out. Take this. <laughs> that gnome will hurt someone. Ah. <laughs> You'll never get your treasure back. Never. <laughs> oh, You two girls stay down here. I'll help you to save your friend. Right! Oh, oh no, he's, he's been hurt! hurt. <laughs> you won't bother me again. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I'm warning you, throw down your weapon right now! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> The mean-spirited little gnome was gone forever, and all the treasures he had plundered could now be returned to their rightful owners. My family's treasure. The bear's treasures, too. And that must mean that the evil spell has finally been broken. That's right, Snow White. The evil gnome can no longer control me. I am free! <gasps> <gasps> Big Brother! <gasps> I'm sorry, I know how worried you were. Last winter, when I went in search of the family stolen treasure, the little gnome tricked me and turned me into a bear. But thanks to all of you, the spell has been removed. But we didn't do anything. You were kind to me when I was in need of warmth and friendship. By doing so, you've saved the king's son. <gasps> we're sorry, sire. Please forgive us. Please. I am the one who should be apologizing. You see, the evil spell prevented me from revealing my true identity. Listen. I love you. Ever since I met you, I could think of no one else but you. Snow White, I want you to become my wife. <gasps> All right. <sighs> I love you. Rose Red, will you marry me and become my wife? Uh, um, yes. That spring, they were married and lived happily ever after. Mother planted her rose bushes in the castle garden. And every year, there blossomed two beautiful new roses, one a royal red and the other white as snow.